The Batch Commander has already been called by pros like Kyle Hoffman and the legendary producer Val Garay as one of the most revolutionary tools for professional audio engineers. Using Batch Commander, you're going to work so much faster and you'll cut out hours of remedial tasks that serve as an obstacle for your creativity. Now let me show you what it can do in Pro Tools 10, 11, and now even Logic Pro X. Starting with Pro Tools, let's take a look at all these vocal tracks. Now I want to put my go-to chain of plugins on these tracks, and with the Batch Commander, I do it with one button, and it's all done for me. But let's say I changed my mind and want to try another chain of plugins. Well, I can just swipe right with the free iOS Slate Remote and clear those plugins with one button. Then I can try another chain consisting of my default EQ and compressor. If I'm tracking and I want to make a headphone mix, Batch Commander can do that for me as well. Now I've selected my drum tracks that I want to send to my headphones. And now with one button on either the Slate Remote, which works on iPad and iPhone, or a click on the desktop application, it creates the stereo aux track, copies the send to all my drum tracks, and then even copies the audio fader level to the send level instantly. With Batch Commander, you can easily save your session into custom fader groups along with their associated plugins. Then you can recall these setups in single, easy to access buttons. I can have any tracks that I want in front of me instantly, so that mixing becomes so fast. With one button, here are my tom tracks and their associated EQs and compressors. Another button puts my guitar tracks and their associated plugin chains on the screen, ready to tweak. And then here is my master fader with all my mix plugins. With the Batch Commander, navigating to what you want instantly becomes a breeze. Here's one that you're going to love. I have a kick drum track that's been played a bit out of time. First, we'll select one bar and automatically tempo map it. Then with one single button, the batch command will cut the entire track up by the transient, move each hit onto the grid, fade each region, and then consolidate the whole track. If you work with virtual MIDI instruments, watch this. Here we have several MIDI tracks in Pro Tools that use virtual instruments. With one button, the batch commander will turn them from virtual MIDI tracks into actual audio files. It even names each track as it bounces and then imports the audio files into the session. And finally, it hides the MIDI tracks so you're just left with the newly rendered audio tracks. One button. So we changed MIDI to audio, now let's do the reverse. I want to audition some kick samples in this song in one of my virtual instruments. With one button, Batch Commander will turn all the kick tracks into MIDI notes. Now we can play around with some dance kicks in our VI. Let's back up and check out some cool utility stuff. We're starting a new session and we'll create new tracks using one click, new track buttons. And now, Batch Commander can automatically name tracks for you. I know these first tracks here will be background vocals. So we'll select them, then hit BGV, and it's done. You can put your favorite effect presets on Batch Command buttons. Let's add the telephone effect to this vocal. Just hit telephone, and it opens the EQ, goes to our telephone preset, and renders it for you. The Batch Commander can be completely customized for your workflow. Click Customize Toolbar to freely rearrange every tool you have. With over 100 preset Batch Commands, we have included different patches with task-oriented commands, but you can also tailor your own custom Batch Commands yourself with ease. Here's a Batch Command that will automatically pitch shift things by 20 cents. But let's say you want to make it 12 cents. 
I can right click the batch command and then edit the line that controls the pitch amount and make it 12. And now watch. Really easy. And now for one of my all-time favorite time savers. So sometimes you have to export individual audio files or stems from Pro Tools, and it's a long and tedious process. With Batch Commander, you can hit one button and it will consolidate all tracks, export each one, automatically name them so you can take off and do more important things while the software does the work for you. Now that you've seen what Batch Commander can do for Pro Tools, Check out what it can do for Logic Pro X. If I have multiple plugins open from multiple tracks and I want to copy the settings from one to the others, I can do that with a batch command. With my five EQs open, I'll make an adjustment to this EQ here. Now, when I hit copy plugin five times, Batch Commander will copy and paste the adjustments to my other four open EQs, closing each plugin when completed. Creating new tracks and instantly naming them has never been easier. With the Batch Commander, I just hit this button to create eight new audio tracks, and this button to name them lead vocals one through four. And this button to name the next four tracks background vocals one through four. I can set these to create any type of track, any number of tracks, and any names that I want. Using these batch commands, I can instantly call up my instrument tracks, audio tracks, aux tracks, and even the track I have selected. I can also create custom buttons to access my groups. Here's my drum tracks, my vocal tracks, and here are all of my guitar tracks. Using one button, I can copy the plugin chain from my kick track to all my other drum tracks. I can do this from any selected track across as many tracks as I want. On my key mapping window, I can use these batch commands to select multiple notes and change their key mappings either by octave or by single notes up and down the scale. The composing process has just evolved. Using batch commands, I can instantly add preset two-bar MIDI instrument chord progressions to my instrument tracks. Let's lay down a major 1564 four-bar chord progression, followed by a major 1454 for two bars, and a major 1625 for two bars. I can also automatically lay down different preset two-bar drum instrument rhythms. Here's a rock groove a funk groove, and a four on the floor. Using Melodyne for pitching vocals and more has never been easier. First, let's hit the Transfer Melodyne Batch Command to automatically click the Transfer button on the Melodyne plugin and hit Play to begin the transfer of the audio. Now, I can highlight selections and nudge up and down by different directions and variables for shape pitch modulation, and clip gain. Last, I can hit a batch command to bounce the changes in place. I've shown you a lot of preset batch commands that come with your software, but what if you want to make your own? Well, it's easy and we've done most of the work for you. Simply right-click a batch command, and then you can either enter your own series of key commands to customize your own script, or you can choose from over 100 preset custom mouse click and menu item scripts and combine them to create a powerful custom batch command. Let's program something called Fly Background Chorus Vocals. Right-click a batch command, and now let's enter our script. Hit the key command button and enter the following. Command C. Next, add option right arrow. Then on the numeric keypad, hit 5. And then Command V. Next, add option right arrow. Again, on the numeric keypad, hit 8. And then again, Command V. All of these commands together may seem a bit complicated, but with the batch command system, they all become one button. So let's put it into action. 
I'll select my background chorus vocals from the first section here. And now using our newly customized batch command, my vocals automatically copy and paste to my second and third sections. I can use this on harmony vocals, guitar parts, and any other sections of the song that need to be duplicated multiple times to specific markers. Last, I've finished working on this Logic session and want to upload it to Gobbler, a cloud-based backup and collaboration software. With one button, Batch Commander copies the session name, opens Gobbler, and clicks Send Files then automatically adds an attachment and pastes the session name into the search bar for selection. Now, just tell Gobbler who you want to send the session to, and you're done. The Batch Commander is an amazing Pro Tools and Logic Pro X companion. It will take hours out of your day, it will eliminate tedious and remedial technical tasks, and it will revolutionize your workflow and get you back to the creative process. Click here to download it right now at SlateMT.com.